Wewe ni nani? Gaucho fanya kazi yako. Fanya kazi yako. Nimechoka na wewe. Kila time ukinipigia simu nafikiriana mimi ni mtoto wako. Sio wewe ati we, si wewe si Raila. Ukitoka azimio we, nini nimetoka? Wewe si Raila. Raila ni amebeba azimio. You know, even a thief cannot trust a fellow thief with anything. They always have to be on high alert when they are around their colleagues. And this is exactly what we are seeing at the bunge la wananchi. It turns out this caucus that is always crying baba 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 day in day out seven days a week is having some in-house fighting and there's two instances that caught my attention the first one is between nuru okanga and the ghetto president gaucho now why exactly are these two men beefing apparently in nairobi there's two caucuses for the bunge la wanainchi there's the jakaranda ground meetings which are held by nuru okanga then there is jivanji which is led by gaucho and normally most luos will go to the one in jivanji where gaucho is concerned and most lawyers will go to jakaranda where nuru okanga is concerned. I want you to just listen in to what Nuru Okanga had to say about this whole fiasco before we proceed. Here's the tip. Wewe ni nani? Gaucho fanya kazi yako. Fanya kazi yako. Nimechoka na wewe. Kila time ukinipigia simu nafikiriana mimi ni mtoto wako. Sio wewe ati we, si wewe si Raila. Ukitoka azimio we, nini nimetoka? Wewe si Raila. Raila ni amebeba azimio. Wakina Eugene wale unadharau yule wajakoya unatuza tu mimi na wajakoya tunafanana akili. Wajakoya haka azimio. Eugene haka azimio. Wote ni waluya. Wewe aje unaniambia nini wewe ujinga kila wakati? Atu wewe na wewe na akili ya wajakoya mnatoshana. Wewe na wajakoya nani amwenda zimu? Wajakoya uko na degree ngapi? Wewe uko na degree ngapi? Before you talk, use common sense. Before you talk, think twice. Don't be a stupid. Ati nyinyi walio wote nyinyi na Eugene wajakoya uparanya mnatoshana. Hakuna kitu mnaleta kwa tepo ya Azimio. Gaucho, ambo. Mimi nimemaliza kwa siasa hata mwaki jaisha. Angalia Jakaranda venye inatisha. Inatisha mpaka Ruto. Kwa sababu gani ya Okanga? Mwaka ijaisha. Wewe umekaa Jivanji miaka ngapi? Umemenda umetengeneza nini Jivanji? Hii mambo yako ya gunzi ndi imefanya jivanjika vunjika. Unapewa pesa, unatengeneza tu gunzi, unasambaratisha. Imefungwa juu yako. Tena unakuja jakar atutakubali jakarande ufungwe juu yako. Atutakubali. 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 Suli niambia kwa simu uko na vijana. Na wewe fanya hivi. Na kuambia hivi. Na wewe kuja jakarande. Utajua hata pia mimi niko na vijana. Eh. Hey. Kila mtu akae kwake kaa jivanji mimi nikae jakaranda au nionange jivanji kaa jivanji mimi nikae jakaranda suli niambia ukanitisha ati ukitaka sehemu yangu ya siri utaipata kuja jakaranda ndio utajua mimi ni nani come now the main question is why is gaucho and his team going after nuru okanga there is several reasons and the first one is that they are all in the same struggle they are all trying to promote raila odinga they are trying to sell his ideas while putting down raila odinga's opponents that is the main mantra of these particular meetings but while they are both carrying out the same functions it seems all the blessings all the goodies are going to the caucus of nuru okanga as we speak Nuru Okanga has received a brand new vehicle. He has also been built for a new house by MP Salasia. And now you can imagine just how much money has been flowing to that direction of the Bunge la Wananchi. So those who are watching all this happening from Jivanji where Gaucho reigns, they are not happy at all with any of this that is taking place. They are thinking, why are we not getting the same money? Why are we not getting the cars? Why is none of us getting a house? Why is it all going to that side of Nuru Okanga? So there is a lot of bile towards Nuru Okanga. They, they feel that what he is receiving he ought to share with the other caucus. So that's the first reason why they are feuding with him. The second reason is that Babu Owino and Salasia, they had some beef. They were doing some back and forth on social media. We don't know if that's cloud chasing or if they have actual problems. But because Babu Owino is a luo, the caucus of Jivanji stood with him. And because Salasia is a luya, the caucus of Jakaranda, where Nuru Okanga comes from, stood with him. Also obviously because uh, Nuru Okanga received a car and a house from Salasia. But when Nuru Okanga took the side of Salasia, I remember there's a time he was being maligned on stage. And Nuru Okanga stepped in and he said, that's enough, we cannot tolerate that. And they almost bet him up. And that further widened 
the rift. And this can get out of hand because if you listen to the threat that Okanga is alluding, Gaucho made towards him that he can come with his boys and take over that field, that is very dangerous. Most of these youths are idle, not all of them they are making money, it's just a small number of them. And if they start killing or beating each other because of a feud between two of their leaders, that one can be very very bad. And it could be the prerequisite for Kithure Kindiki to shut down all operations of Bunge La Wanainchi and he might even declare it as a terrorist group. If they go to a public park to start fighting each other and in so doing injuring innocent bystanders because there are people who go there just to relax, spend time with their families and then you're beaten up. That one can spell a lot of doom for their caucus. And if you think the problems for Gaucho end there, in his own caucus, he has people praying towards Ray Lodinga. You know I'm going off topic but this has just come back to me and I don't want to do another video on this. An entire group raising their hands to pray towards Ray Lodinga as if he is God. And I'm sure he has seen that video and he has not warned this young man to stop doing that. You cannot give glory to a fellow human being but for him he's basking in it. He's the tip. Nataka kila mtu ainue yake mikono yake juu hapa wabunge ni tumekuja nao. Murudie hii maneno nikisema. Raila ukiwa kwa kiti yako biguni. Ambaye ni state house tunakuja 77. Tafadhali baba Raila Molo Dinga. Jaribu kusaidia wanyonge wanakuru. Sisi sisi tunaumia. Kila siku. E baba. Shirikiana na Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu juu. Muweze kuokoa Kenya. That's very sad. Very very sad indeed. But as usual guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button, you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.